Hello everyone, this is Jeff Vital Fleetermouse. Gotten many requests to shoot ice slugs out of a shotgun and also pikerete. Now those that watch Mythbusters are probably familiar with pikerete. It is a mixture of sawdust and water that is frozen. What's really interesting about pikerete is that it's much stronger than its individual components, wood or ice. It's a very strong structure and we're going to see how it shoots out of a shotgun. Now originally I was going to use some dry ice and just freeze all this stuff on site. But I remembered a suggestion that a viewer had said just to uh, freeze everything in the freezer and then pack it all in a mixture of ice and salt. Kind of like making ice cream. So that's what we did. Kept everything very rock hard frozen despite being about 105 degrees out today. Shooting unconventional things like this out of a shotgun can be dangerous so if you're gonna do it do it at your own risk ready yeah oh probably the wadding ready? yeah oh now I think a lot of people would think that the ice is just gonna instantly melt when it's being shot from the high temperatures of the propellant but ice doesn't really melt that fast. If you took a, a settling torch and tried to melt a block of ice, it, you'd still be standing there a while before it all melted. But ice is pretty brittle and the question is, will it hold together after it's being shot? And obviously it doesn't. But we t tried a couple more times and it was just less and less impressive each oh. time. Oh, it went, it went high. Okay, hit it. Oh. We went right over it. Yeah. And we didn't have much luck with the ice at all. The first shot was just lucky. So let's move on to the pikerete. It is a little rugged looking. So let's see if it'll hold together when we shoot it. All right, hit it. There you go. That was the exact same place as I aimed last time. Now we weren't sure if the damage was done by the wadding because those will do a lot of damage on their own or if the pikerete round actually stayed on target and stayed together. All right, hit it. There you go. Now, I really don't know if anyone's ever tried to make a pikerete bullet or shotgun slug before, but uh, this was kind of spurred after we posted a video where we shot frozen Vienna sausages out of a shotgun. And we dubbed those rounds porkrete rounds because it's kind of the same basic structure. You have uh, fibers frozen in water that makes a very strong structure. Now, of course, these rounds have no practical application other than just satisfying our curiosity of seeing unusual things shot out of a shotgun. What can survive and what will work and what doesn't work, you know? That's, that's what's fun about this. It appeared the pikerete slug stayed together and separated from the wadding. You can see them both there, the wadding's on the left, and I didn't see any other pieces of the pikerete round, so it, obviously it held together. Okay, hit it. <laughs> you put a dent in it. <laughs> and we shot at this metal plate knowing it wouldn't penetrate it, and uh, I know that a lot of viewers would probably want to see what it would do to a metal plate, so we decided to throw that in there too. To me, the coolest part of this whole project was just seeing that supersonic cone as this hunk of frozen water and sawdust was flying at a very high velocity. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.